The Cape Breton Screaming Eagles home opener for the 2009-2010 Quebec Major Junior Hockey League season is successful at Center 200 as they defeat the Halifax Mooseheads, the provincial arch rivals, by a score of 6-4. It was Halifax that got on the scoreboard first as Yuri Charmetchev scored a 12.05 of the first period on the power play. It was an unassisted tally. Cape Breton's Logan Shaw and Glace Bay scored a 13-19 of that first period, not at the score at one with Fournier and Stephen Horrell getting the assist. Then before the period was over, Taylor McDougall scored for Cape Breton Screaming Eagles on a play with Logan Shaw and Ellis. And that's how the first period ended. 2-1 to one for the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles in a frame where Cape Breton outshot Halifax 11-10. In the second period, it was Maximilian Lesseur scoring at 6-0-4 with Fournier and Brad Teesink picking up the helpers on that one. That made the score 3-1 to one for Cape Breton. They went up 5-1 to one when Michael Stinziani got a second of the game, a shorthand tally at 7-15 on a play with Morgan Ellis. And then at 12.08 on the power play, it was Conrad Abelshauser for the Halifax Mooseheads getting their second goal of the game. McDonald and Travis Randall getting the assist. Then at 17.59, Michael Stinziani got a second goal of the game with McDougal and Victor Hertzberg getting the helpers on that one. Uh, shots on goal in the second period. K. Breton had 11 for a two-period total of 22, and Halifax had 13 and 23 after 40 minutes of play. Then in the third period, it was Alex Lemieux making it interesting as he scored Halifax's third goal, and that was right after the opening buzzer, 26-second mark, with Chucky Chembry from Moncton and Charles Betty getting the assist on that goal. Halifax then got their fourth goal. It was with the uh, K. Breton, uh, or the Halifax net empty with the extra attacker. Halifax scored at 19.07 on the power play. Jessica Bernard picking up that goal on the play with Yuri Cherimetchev. And then Michael Stinziani got an empty netter at 19.46, his third of the game. Morgan Ellis picking up the assist. In the third period, K. Breton had 10 shots for 32 in the game. Halifax at 13 for 36, so they actually outshot the K. Breton Screaming Eagles 36 to 32 in the game. But where it counts on the scoreboard, the K. Breton Screaming Eagles won by a score of 6 to 4 in the Little Lifter for the 2009 2010 season. Chris, hold it. Power play continuing. Tremendous in off the circle. Fires right on it. Chris Holden thought he had it, but it gets behind him. As uh, the Mooseheads get one on the power play. I thought he had it. Everybody in the center thought he had it, but uh, unfortunately for Holden, it somehow get by him. And the Halifax Mooseheads strengthen the power play, and they lead it one to nothing. As Eagles are ready to go again, it is Horrell. Kessner and shot. They face off win. Cape Breton had the puck on that right point. 28 shots and seven. Four shots.
back underway. The power play for the Moose is Alex McDonald. Katie across, shot and scores! It's Albert Schelzer ripping the shot, I think, over the glove of Chris Holden. And the second goal coming on the power play, as did the first one. And it is a 4 2 hockey game now. Kate Breton's lead cut in half. Good job. And they open up the pace here. 4 2 hockey game. Kate Breton leading. 2.15 left to go in period number two as Victor Hertzberg turns and fires in one motion for Cape Breton. And they will get a chance to get a bit of a line change. Here the Eagles, Halifax on it, broke it up. Here's the feed across, Hertzberg, Stinziani! As uh, Halifax coming up the puck, firing a shot on the save by Holden, looks for the rebound. Moosehead's played in the score. Alex Lemieux beating Chris Holden, who had a bit of a, a tough time corralling that puck as it seemed to fall under his glove again, like it did in the first period. And it's a 5 3 game. One of the things that our coaches like to do is they stress this, they talk about it all the time. The last minute of a period, the first minute of each period, a very, very important. You don't want goals scoring against you. Out of the net, standing it on. One minute now to go. Chemediev is up with the puck. Down low, the feet of Desjardins. They crash the crease. They score. The Mooseheads hit one as Kate Brent collapsed again. And nobody left that man coming through the slot. And the Mooseheads have made it a 5 4 hockey game. I think when they collapse on it, they're getting one another's way, especially in front of the net. There always seems to be uh, one of Halifax's defensemen wide open. The third power play goal of the night for the Hell. Here are the Eagles. Nicholas Finziani to Francis Mayer. He's going to lob one through the middle as uh, the Eagles come up with it. There's a shot.